So Dean, looked like a hell of a game to watch from the stands. How did it feel down here? Just a for our supporters. It's their day today in the derby game. So, you know, they go home tonight and they'll be pleased. No doubt, no doubt they'll have a few more drinks and have a good tip up, but they deserve it. I felt, I just said there on, on, uh, on the zone, that I felt we played better here last year and lost, funny enough. I thought we played well. We were solid. Great to have Tavares back. Um, makes a big difference for us. Good to have Idris back and Cavamba coming off the bench and obviously Steady coming off the bench and having the impact they have because we've got that strength and depth in our squad. Um, the only whammy for us today was Brownlee. Um, I just said there, Brownlee was involved in a car accident on Wednesday, Wednesday evening late, and I wanted it. I, made, I let him make the decision. That's a mistake by me. So I'm honest and straight. I shouldn't have played him. And you can just feel he's growing a bit now. So I should have just, I should have just took it away from the decision, away from him. Obviously, against his ex club, he wanted to play. So that's my fault, and I take responsibility for that. Yeah, best wishes to Reese as well. Um, so just, just at half time then with the game nil nil, what was the thinking going into the second half? It looked like we we're on top with performance wise, but yet there wasn't a goal. Was it just about patience and waiting for the opportunity? We missed some glorious chances. Chapman was like blowing a messy walking through the once. I think he got three nutmegs and did what he did. And their goalie made a good save. Obviously, when a goalie comes in, look, it happened to us at Gateshead. You think, is it going to be the goalie's day? Sam Howes comes back into the club. Um, and we were dominant, but I know what it's like here. If you can get out here up the hill, you know, and, and survive and survive the second half, we had the look of winning the toss, so we turned it round, ended up the hill first half, and I just knew that the, 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 uh, the pressure was built. I thought the referee did really well on an incident where a goalie's got himself sort of in no man's land, and the touch has gone away from the goal, and the cover's on, he's, and he's given a yellow card. So, good referee in there, to be fair, as well. But I just thought we, with the quality coming off our bench and the strength and depth we got coming from our bench, we can take games away from teams. Yeah, not, you just mentioned Chapman in the in the previous comment. Uh, Dazone gave him man of the match. He wasn't on the score sheet, but yet caused a, you know a load of problems for for Wilston and looked to be the man. You know that just couldn't get anywhere near tonight. He's just a class act, Chapman, and he's just getting fitter and fitter and fitter. So we've got to wrap him up in cotton wool. Um, he's got the capabilities. You know, he's been there, done it. Got the got the t-shirt. He's played way higher. He's come in. His attitude has been spot on. He's he's a big personality. He's quite funny. He's got that dry. North uh, northeast sense of humour, he's funny, lad. as you know, you've got that as well yourself. So, um, but he, listen, his level of performance today was outstanding. He deserved to be on the score sheet. The main thing was on the winning team. It was all to, like, together, it was about our football club, our togetherness. Um, I have to say, though, I'm a little bit disappointed, and I don't like putting a sour now. I don't like to see flares and that being thrown on because I think I want us to be a class football club and a class outfit. There's no need for our supporters to do that. To show our class. We come here last year of a good saying, you know, you win with dignity and you lose with respect. And I don't, I don't think we should do that really. You know what I mean? So just a little, a little, having a little go at them. But it's probably someone that's just done it individually. But there's no need for us to do that. We're a class football club, and I want us to stay that way. Sorry, second away win of the season. Yeah. It's almost like overcoming that that hurdle maybe. And how eager are you now to kick on and, and make that first, that's second of many? Yeah, well, I think we've played well in all our games. We've been the most dominant side. And all the, all the stats and the data back there up. Just getting better players back. You see, it's, look at the bench today. No, Kizzy didn't play, Grimwood didn't play. You're bringing Carnot on, Cabamba, Stead. You know, Taver has a big player. It was an outstanding performance from him today. So I thought the two midfielders did well. I thought we were just the better team and I thought we were two, two stroke three goals better than the opposition. So no disrespect to them. And to cap off the night, the 3 0 win, the clean sheet, puts the top of the table. Yeah, look, listen, not a tough game on Tuesday night. Um, I'm all about points per game. That's my target. If we reach the points target I've set their team and their football club, we'll have a very, very, very successful season. So that's all I'm about. Nothing else, you know. Stay humble. Um, I know how difficult it is to, uh, to stay there. I'm a day to be shot at. I know the favourites from the start of the season. But anyone that finishes above Forest Green for me, they're the team that are going to do the business. Thanks for your time, Dean.